Let's go, my name is Dan Kiesling, and welcome to our ship tour of the Aegis Valiant, which is just a simple variant or a color variant on the original Gladius, which it's to the right of banana for scale, so you guys take a look at it. Initially, the, so this is my first time looking at it, initially I thought the green was going to pop a little bit more, but I guess in comparison to that drab green on the, the standard one, it does pop a lot. ODP, what does that mean? Orion Defense Project. So you can see it's got the nice green flavoring with the, I'd say it's a goldish orange with a tint of a hue. What do we got up front? We've got a badger repeater up front. What do we got on the sides? We got some bear pioneers and what is that? No VP Viper and some size one. It didn't say neuron can, it should say neutron. Neutron cannons, okay. So, decency on the sides. I do like the the yellow touch right there in the back. A little ODP on the back. I like it. It's, uh, I, I will say this is probably right out of the gate. This is, how much does that look like a saber? It's a nice touch. Uh, probably this is the, the, the variant that I was least excited about because it looks the most like the original deal in terms of the original gladius so we've got a nice look at it here but just for for scale purposes i mean i guess anything <laughs> i mean and when you see the the original gladius flying around you're not like oh that's an ugly ship but when you put some color on it it makes it just makes this look so much more drab but uh let's go ahead and hop in the cockpit here get some views from the six i would hope that they did some coloration on the inside but if anything's like the the comet, I'm gonna say there is no additional coloration. It doesn't look like there is. I'm, and I just wonder why they did that, because I would imagine it's not that that big of a deal to add some coloration on the inside. Maybe we go standard cockpit here, and uh, let's get some some views. This is where really the money's made. Look at this thing. Okay, so we did miss. There's like a that ODP logo right there that's a nice touch and i will say i i do, do like the way it looks from the top better than from the ground up and there's an, another banana for scale and i those accents on the wing so those on the rear wing right underneath the odp i, I do like that as well so i do have to say i maybe was a little bit um a little bit uh hater aid on on the valiant uh, but it, I think it looks pretty nice. It's it's a if you're more of the introspective, simple type Jay Z, and you like the the basic colors, this may be for you. But I think just on the website, it, it looked like it was like a neon type green. Not maybe not neon, but maybe a more of a lime than a army type green. But nonetheless, we're gonna take this for a spin in free flight and see how it handles up in the crash test rating of 2042. <laughs> All right, so here we go, and and looks like there is a bug in the free flight mode because our HUD didn't work. Oh, our HUD didn't work on the 85X, and it's not working on the Valiant. But look at this thing! I'll tell you what, all these ships look better not in the Revel and York hangar. Look at this. This is a good-looking ship here. Okay, I stand corrected. This is a. I can I can get behind the Prince Valiant variant. Of the Gladius. Look at this thing. Alright, let's see what our guns look like. Is that a new sound effect for that weapon? Look at the rotation on that. How's that for fidelity, boys? Look at this. Squad up. Oh, I don't think we can launch missiles in this. Nonetheless, let's go ahead and take her for a quick cruise. Look at this thing. It's a nice looker, man. This is, uh, let's get, we got to get the great, good lighting here, though. Hang on. Let's turn our Z look off. Okay, good. So we want the light to shine on us, like, that band from the 90s. That's what we wanted. Okay, good. So now let's do one more quick, quick turnaround here. Look at this. Underneath, what's the, ooh. 362 and there's another logo on the bottom flaunting those blue missiles though good for them all right let's go ahead and 
do what we do here to take out its crash test rating. Let's at least get a good look from this standpoint. Look at that. I think we may be a little off, but... Extra thrusters, boys. Oh, looks like we barely just nicked it. We didn't want the nick, we wanted the full salami here. Let's go. Hang in here. Alright, so we're going to rotate back around here. Let's line up one that's a decent size away. Z mode, and we're out. off, boys. Look at this. Trust in the Gladius. More th oh, there it went. Oh, the head. The head's rolling. We're going to do, we'll do one more crash from the back just to see. Decapitation. So I do, I do like it. It, it feels nice. It, it's, uh, I mean, it's, it's really no, from a handling perspective, it's no different than the other Gladius, but it's just from an aesthetic purpose. And tell me that doesn't, that's not a, a great look. Even, it's almost like a Michelangelo TMNT paint job, but I can get down with that. Let's go. Not bad. Not bad at all. Thank you guys so much for watching this ship tour of the Gladius Valley. And if you guys enjoyed it, clicking the like button helps out a great deal. I appreciate you guys taking time out of your day to watch us uh, pick apart and destroy these ships. Um, it means a lot, and I'll see you guys next time.